feel like your husband is a little bit emotionally walled off from you and you yearn to have, you know, more emotional intimacy like you used to, well, it could be that he's erected this emotional wall to keep you out because he's felt disrespected. And I know you're thinking, oh, I'm not disrespectful. Well, I used to think that too, until one day I was shooting a little cooking video and my husband was behind the camera taking the video and, and I thought something went wrong. I thought the camera wasn't working and but the camera was working, it was still rolling, I did not know that. And later when I was looking back at this video, I was like, oh my goodness sakes, I had this look of disgust on my face, acting like, are you a moron or something? Let me just fix that, you know, but you don't know what you're doing. I couldn't believe it, I had no idea I was being disrespectful. You might be falling into the same trap where you don't even realize that your dramatic sighs and your rolling of the eyes and your sarcasm that seems kind of funny as you're putting him down or maybe even your silent treatment when he doesn't jump up and meet all your expectations, that all of this is very disrespectful and he might be shutting himself off from you. It's kind of like a means of self-protection. Well, what can you do? One of the ways to soften your husband's heart is to be humble, and to sincerely apologize for being disrespectful. So ask God to help you catch yourself when you say something, when you do body language or facial expressions that communicate disrespect. And when that happens, and I'm not saying if that's gonna happen, because I know it will, when it happens that you've caught yourself being disrespectful, be humble and sincerely apologize. A good, sincere apology uses these words. I was wrong too, and then you fill in the blank of whatever you did, or you know, if you were disrespectful. I was wrong to be so sarcastic with you. Please forgive me. That's what a, a sincere apology sounds like. Ladies, we have to wake up every morning and, and kind of put on humility. You know, when you put on your shoes and socks, also put on humility every day with your husbands. In fact, Colossians 3.12 puts it this way. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. I think your husband's going to like it when you dress that way.